We made a clean getaway, Duke. Yeah, well, I broke out a better clink than that. Yeah, I know. That's why I made a deal with you to help me make this break. I wouldn't have had a chance without you. Listen, Pearson. This is strictly business with me. You promised me 500 bucks if I'd get you out of there. Don't worry. You'll get your money. we got to get some more clothes before daylight. We won't get far on these things. How do you mind that? That's been taken care of. Come on, follow me. Yeah, that's the place, all right. Come on, get busy. You said it. The sooner I get out of this rig, the better I'll like it. I never should have been out in the first place. Yeah, I know. Same old story, framed. Well, my story's on the level. This life stretch I was doing for the killing of my brother was on the false testimony of a man named Roger Morgan. You mean Roger Morgan, that big shot moneyed man? That's the man. Well, why would a big guy like that be interested in putting you away? My brother got him to help finance a new type of super fighting plane we were working on. I was against the deal, and we had an argument. Shortly after that, my brother was killed in a test flight. They found the plane had been tampered with. And Morgan's lying testimony convicted me. Yeah, I know. And then he moved in and took over all the business. No, just the wreckage. My brother had hidden all the important specifications. Say, are those the things that visitor was trying to proposition you about? Yes. He was Morgan's private secretary. Then why take a chance in going over the wall and maybe getting shot when you... Well, you could, you could have walked out the front door. You wanted to... Trade you even up, didn't he? Uh, that is, uh, give you a parole for, uh, well, uh, some kind of blueprints or something, didn't he? Yeah, so he said. But I have to keep those plane specifications in my hands. Uh, I got your pigeon. They're uh, worth two, huh? Yeah, plenty. Morgan's liable to trip himself trying to get him. And that's my chance to prove he was responsible for my brother's death. Uh, where, are, where are those things now? Uh, where'd your brother hide them? In Pine Valley, there's Mountain Lodge. That's where I'm heading right now. That's where we're heading right now. I'm sticking with you till you pay me off. All right, all right, let's go. Morning, Mr. 
reporter. Well, hello, Andrews. Did you just get back? Yes, sir. How did Pearson react to my proposition? He turned it down cold. He said he'd rather rot in prison than see those drawings in your hands. Yeah, I figured that. But I'm still going to get control of that Pearson pursuit play. How are you going to do it? I have made up my mind to adopt Bobby Pearson. What? Adopt Harry Pearson's two-year-old child? Good heavens, you can't do that. His father's dead. His uncle is a convicted felon. He has no other living relations. Now, somebody's going to have to take care of his affairs. So why shouldn't I? Mr. Morgan, there are a lot of people who think you were responsible for Harry Pearson's crash in that test plane. Then you had his brother convicted on the flimsiest of evidence. And now you want to adopt this youngster. You're skating on thin ice. And you're doing it all just to gain control of those plane designs. I started out in the beginning to get them. I never start anything I don't finish. But you don't even know where they are. I know I don't. But sooner or later, they'll show up. And when they do, I'll control them through Bobby Pearson. Everything proper and legal. You're within the law, Mr. Morgan. But frankly, I don't like it. Andrews, you've been in my employ for a long time. Now, if you feel that way about it, I'll get someone else to handle my private affairs. I'm sorry. I suppose you want me to have the adoption papers drawn up right away. That's right. Yes? Now, put him on. Rest the court hearing through as soon as possible. I'll have Miss Adams bring the child out here so we'll have him available. Hello? What's that? Say that again, please. No, no, there's nothing I can tell you now, but well, I'll have to give this letter some thought. Carl Pearson broke out of prison last night. He's reported seen heading toward Pine Valley. Pine Valley? Isn't that where Ruth Adams has young Bobby Pearson for the summer? That's right. Hello. Get me long distance. Long distance? Connect me to Pearson Lodge in Pine Valley. Hurry, please. I'm going to try to get Miss Adams to come to town right away. Hello? They don't answer? Is this a Pine Valley operator? Well, it's vitally important that I contact Miss Adams. A messenger? Yes, same at once, please. Don't worry, Miss Bone, I'll find her. Hello there, sunny boy. How's everything? 
our program for an important news flash with reference to the two escape convicts, Duke Williams and Carl Pearson. Again, we describe them. Duke Williams, six feet, one inch, weight 150 pounds, medium complexion, brown hair, brown eyes, saw on back of left hand, a two-time loser for manslaughter and grand larceny. Carl Pearson, five feet 11 and a half inches, Weight 152 pounds, brown eyes, fair complexion, brown hair, no distinguishing marks. We have reason to believe they are headed in the direction of Pine Valley. The state police warns all citizens to be on the lookout for the escaped men. The governor has authorized a reward of $1,000 for the capture of the convict. Anyone having information as to their whereabouts, get in touch with the state police or your local police authorities at once. That is all. We will now continue with our regular program.
sudden did you get this rappled up like this? Well, I was fishing, and I caught a fish that long. How long? That long. Already it was at least that long. Sounds like we have visitors. Hello, Lieutenant Franklin. What brings you up to these parts? Well, the chief sent me down to see you, Jim. A couple of convicts escaped last night. Say, I'm uh, mighty glad to see that you have Carl Pearson's dog here. He's not really my dog, Lieutenant. Carl left him with my nephew, Johnny. That's the same thing as far as I'm concerned. What's Swinty acting so strange for? What's in your car that interests him? Carl Pearson's convict rose. He was one of the men who escaped last night. Carl escaped? That's right. He lost their trail up in the past, but they were seen hidden this way. You haven't seen them, have you, Jim? No, I haven't. I want to borrow this dog, Jim. I want to put him on the spot where the convicts were last seen. It's my one chance to trail them through the wilderness. Well, I guess there's nothing else you can do, Lieutenant. But to use a man's own dog to track yeah, him I down. Have. But these men are outside the law. Well, you're the boss. You can't take my dog. You can't, I tell you. He's mine. Mr. Pearson left him with me. Uncle Jim, don't let him take Rennie. He's only following him, Johnny. You'll bring him back now, won't you, Inspector? Why, well, of course I will, Johnny. Now, don't you worry a bit. He'll be back to you. I've got to find Ruth and tell her about Carl. Now, go on, now, beat it. job that only you can do. Find Carl. Go find Carl. Look here, old fellow. Escape convicts are outlaws and they've got to be captured. Now take the trail. Find Carl. Go find your master. Go find your master.
would you go find your master?
I think we've lost the dog for sure. Well, frankly, I think she's lost us. Oh, there's no use wandering around here anymore. I bet. Let's go back. for me over the ridge. I'll meet you at the cabin. All right, now you keep your eyes open as you ride. I'll do that, Lieutenant. Is this on the level? 
Yes, it's on the level. There's about a thousand cash in those airplane designs I told you about. showed up at the Pearson's place. You know, he likes to hang around there. So isn't that girl who lives there, Pearson's sweetheart, engaged to him or something like that? Was engaged to him and is yet. Ruth Adams believes Carl was framed, and so do I. And we both think that one of these days he'll prove his innocence. That might be Ruth now. Hello? Uh, here's your party, Mr. Morgan. Hello, Jim Raymond? This is Morgan. Roger Morgan. I'm calling to ask whether or not Miss Adams left for town this afternoon. I believe she did, Mr. Morgan. Neither she nor the youngster were at the lodge when I called there today. Were you expecting her in town? She had an appointment earlier this afternoon in my office. She's driving, and I thought maybe she might have met with an accident. I wish you'd check on that for me. All right, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Say, Jim, what's Morgan got to do with this girl, Ruth? I don't know. I think we'd better take a look at that Pearson Lodge before we do anything else. If you think Ruth had anything to do with Carl's escape, you're dead wrong. In fact, she doesn't know anything about it. Or she didn't the last time I saw her. Just the same, we're going to check on it. Roger Morgan? Yeah, well, uh, you don't know who I am, but uh, that don't make any difference. I've got something I think you want. Some, uh, well, I don't know, some aeroplane drawings of the uh, Pearson Pursuit Plane. Pearson Pursuit Plane? So just who are you? Well, of course I'm interested, but... 
All right, go ahead. Not listening. Twenty thousand bucks. Ah, fine. All right, it's a deal. Yeah. I'll call you about uh, oh ten o'clock in the morning and make arrangements to meet you. Mm-hmm. And uh, don't forget the dough. All right. Bye. Trace that call. It's important. Who is that? I don't know, but I've got a hunch it's Carl Pearson. Whoever it was has the drawings on that pursuit plane. If he thinks I'm going to pay him for him, he's crazy. Yes, what do you 
want. You know very well what I want. The drawing's on your brother's plane. Look, Morgan, if I were sure you could clear me of the charge that sent me to prison, I'd let you have them. Well, I can say I made a mistake in my testimony. You know, a man can always admit he's wrong. I still don't see how you're going to do it. You swore you saw me tampering with the controls of my brother's test plane just before he cracked up. Is that the lie you're going to take back? That'll be enough, won't it? That'll clear you. Now, where are those drawings? I want to get this business over quickly. All right, I'll tell you where they are. But you can't blame me for wanting to be sure. You wanted the drawings for that plane right from the beginning. That's why you railroaded me to prison, so you could get control of them, isn't it? You'd be pretty dumb not to know that by now. Yes, and you'd have gone still farther if necessary to Let's get Let's get down to business. I haven't any time to waste, Pearson. Get those plans. Okay, Morgan, you win. They're right over here. Well, they're gone. What are you trying to do, kid me? No. Well, they're here. I know they were. Somebody stole them. So that's why you phoned me a while ago. Phoned you? Yeah, I had your call traced here. You told me you had the drawings as willing to make a deal for them. Now, make up your mind you're going to give them to me, or, or what, Morgan? Listen, you fool. I rubbed out your brother. And if I do the same to you, I'll be given a medal for bringing in an escaped convict, dead or alive. In your case, dead. Break it up.